Hey guys, Jax Merck here with volume two of my series, So You Think You Can Stream. I really like this one, so I'm gonna try to go through this quickly so you guys stick with me. This one is about having a camera while you stream versus not having a camera. And um, this topic is gonna be based on my experiences as a viewer just as much as a streamer. So as a Twitch viewer, I'll be completely honest, if I'm scrolling down the streams looking for something to watch, I don't even give a second glance if they don't have a camera. So humans use faces to like read into the conversation. And seeing a face is just more naturally interesting than not. Uh, yeah, streamers can succeed and they have succeeded without a camera. That's a terrible argument and I'm not even gonna get into it right now, but if you wanna talk about that with me, that's fine, we'll talk about it in the comments. Um, as a streamer, I wanna be as interactive as possible with my audience to try to capture them. And trying to do that without a camera is near impossible, at least just very difficult. When I first started streaming on Xbox, I realized I was making faces, a lot of faces and so much content that was just completely lost because I didn't have a camera on me. Nobody was looking at me, you couldn't see it. If you watch my streams, I'm very expressive with my face. That's how I engage. And without a camera, I couldn't create near as much depth or humor as I do. For example, I often create humor by saying something really confident and then turning around to the camera with my face silently expressing like the negative truth about it. Like, um, oh yeah, we're totally gonna win this game. This is, this is our game, we got this. And that's, that's, that's hard to capture, you know, without a camera. You can do it you know, in a completely different way, you know, like, <laughs> we are totally going to win this game. <laughs> but even there, there's still extra nuances from my face. Yeah, I got the point across verbally, but there's just more to it when you see my face. Adds a little bit extra texture. Uh, another thing I use my face for is to define a silence. So without a camera, it's just silence. Without context, viewers have to guess what's going on and they'll most likely assume I'm just not engaging. Um, so if somebody comes into my stream and there's silence with no camera, they have no clue what's going on and um, they'll be disengaged. Whereas if they come into silence and I have my camera and they see my face like this, you know, they're probably going to understand that I just accidentally blew up my sister with a grenade or something like that. That happens often. So overall, I've learned in my experiences that there are so many reasons to stream with a camera and there are very few, mostly unfounded reasons not to. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. This is volume two of So You Think You Can Stream. And if you think you come up with a reason not to stream with a camera, we can talk about it in the comments. Feel free. And I'll see you next time.